Good morning. Fans of Privateer FX, another non-farm payroll. I believe this is our 1,000th non-farm payroll. Or, let's see, 50 a year, 500, 1,000. Oof, more than 1,000. Um, probably 1,300. Let the circus begin. Uh, first, let's talk about just general risk on overnight. Equities, 27.45, surprising a lot of people. Uh, U.S. trade policy is in play here. China said they're going to retaliate. They haven't retaliated yet. Uh, we will see how this goes. If there's a big retaliation, you're going to see this reverse. Uh, quite dramatically, and if you get a very strong U.S. non-farm number, equities will also get hit with the stronger dollar. We also have uh, Canadian employment today, to keep that in mind. Just to add to the political muck, uh, Pompeo is uh, going to be in North Korea, meeting with officials there. You have to keep kind of an eye on that to see if that thing uh, blows up or not. So there's a lot of political stuff, a lot of headline watching, a lot of Twitter feed watching. Uh, on the U.S. side, also Brexit uh, meetings are at Checkers today. I have no idea um, what the results are going to be. It seems, seems difficult to figure out how this is going to work. Both sides seem very far apart. Announcements from Brexit, they're going to run until 10 p.m. The meeting's going to run until 10 p.m. UK time, and you can imagine this stuff, you know, runs over. So we may not even get any announcements until the market closes today, which will make for an interesting open on Monday. But if... if if people do storm out of this meeting, or if there's really bad news going into the afternoon, uh, you, again, you will see headlines. So set your news feeds appropriately, your Twitter feeds appropriately to news out of the checkers meetings. Um, as far as non-farm payrolls is concerned, you know, it's another one of these binary. Um, type deals, the expectation we'll call it 190, 200, so set your parameters, a weak one maybe below 140, a strong one maybe above 250, you don't really want to trade it right away if it hits expectation, and then you also have Canadian net change in employment, they're expecting 20, 20,000. Where Canada is on the chart makes this slightly more interesting. If you take a look at Dollar Cat here, we talked about this on the weeklies last week. Big bearish engulfing. Today's the day that's going to make or break this chart. Super strong Canadian numbers are going to jam this thing lower and confirm stronger Canada. Um, so this is quite interesting. But again, it's too early to talk about this. We will talk about this at the New York Open. I just wanted to lay the, the map in front of everyone. We have tariff risk. We have North Korea risk. We have sterling risk about Brexit with their meeting at Checkers. And now we have economic risk, non-farm payrolls, Canadian net change in employment, also trade balance in the U.S. A lot going on today. Um, so we're going to keep it quiet this morning, give this some more thought, really set out a plan of attack for 2.30 Swiss time today, and I urge you to do the same. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you soon. Ciao.